Unconditional Mahabbat, unconditional. My God is a God who loves you unconditionally. Let's come back. He said, Blessed are the pure in heart. Why? For they shall see God. You know what that means? That matching up. Blessed are the pure in heart, my daughter. Blessed are the pure in heart. That matching up how we behave in our darker place and here on Hyde Park. If I pray for Muslim in private and come to park up and push my face on that gentleman, I am a hypocrite, I am not pure in heart, God will judge me. I pray for him in private, therefore I must love him in public. If I preach what I preach and if I don't do it at home when I am alone with my smartphone, then if I do things which God hated, I am a hypocrite, I am not pure in heart because I don't do what I preach, I don't practice what I preach, then I am not pure in heart, I am taking the name of God in vain. Man, where was the last time, sir? Be honest. Where was the last time, sir? I love you and I pray the blessing of the Lord Jesus Christ be upon you and we all bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. But sir, be honest, where was the last time you cried? over the sin of your life and the sin of your neighbors. The mic is yours, sir. I love and I bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. But where was the last time you cried first over the sin of your own life and then the sin of your neighbor and then the sin of nation? Where was the last time you said, Oh God, Allah, do not judge this nation according to my judge, according to my sin. Where was the last time you prayed that prayer? The mic is yours, sir. Thank you very much. He's an honest man. I love him. Therefore, I will die for you, man. Man, this is pure Islam, sir. Matthew 5, 6 and 7 is pure Islam. It's pure Christianity. It's pure Christ. I be too many church. They don't preach the nine blessings of Jesus Christ because some of us cannot be pure in heart. We do dirty things when we are at home, on our TV, on our smartphone. We read dirty magazine. We read dirty book. We lust after our women in the church, outside of the church. Am I pure in heart? I don't think so. Talking about me. Don't talk about you, sir. Don't talk about yourself. Talk about me. Me, me. I didn't change me. He changed me. He changed me. Blessed are the pure in heart. For they shall see God. And then he said, Blessed are the peacemakers. Salam. Salam. Ma salam, Habibi. Blessed are the peacemaker. He didn't say, Blessed are the troublemaker. He didn't say, even say, Blessed are the peacekeeper. Because, sir, no matter how educated we are, none of us can keep the peace. Only we can pursue peace this far through Jesus Christ. And nobody can understand Jesus apart from the Father. And nobody can understand the Father apart from Jesus Christ. God bless you. Blessed are the peacemakers. I'm going to step down. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. That means, my friend, this involves... Man... This involves bringing healing grace to other people. Man, my Bible said, your sorrow must be my sorrow. Your joy must be my joy. I can cry with you. I can cry with you, my brother. But when I rejoice with you, when you say, Christopher, I got a BMW. When I, when I rejoice with you, when you say, Christopher, I've been promoted to the executive manager. That is what Jesus Christ meant. Rejoice with them that rejoice and weep with those that weep. Your joy must be my joy. When you are blessed in your ministry, I am blessed at home in my darker place. When that beloved brother, it doesn't matter what denomination he is, we are divided anyway. We are more divided on Sunday morning, 10 o'clock and 11 o'clock, than on Monday morning, 9 o'clock, when many of us will go to work. We hug each other to show off I'm better than you. Man, man, pure in heart, pure in heart. That means what I do here, I must practice it at home. What I do at home, I must practice it here. Man, Jesus Christ said, I came to mend the broken hearted. Sir, we are grown up. We all know I have broken a glass. I have broken a plate. I have broken a ball. When you drop something fragile, never, never, never that plate will be restored again. And that's what broken heart is. When you are broken hearted, you are smashed. You become a doormat. 
they walk on you. You are broken hearted. And only Jesus Christ can heal that broken heart. My friend, I am 50 years of age. The rib has been removed. The rib, I can show you. The rib, I'm not lying, man. I'm not lying. I know what I mean by that. The rib has been removed. And the Lord Jesus Christ said, my son, my son, only I can restore that rib. You are a broken person, my son. You are a fine warrior, my son. Any woman you meet, even those who come down from heaven, they will put salt in your ribs. They will put salt in your wound. Trust me. Let me take care of you. You're not going to get married, my son. I want to get married. I cry. The answer come back, no. The answer come back, no. Anytime I say one woman, she's so interested. I pray for that woman. The prayer will come back. If I say he, she will do something, or I will do something stupid, it's going away. He said, let me take care of that. I can show you the rib as well. Man, Adam. Do you know Adam was walking with the rib? One rib was removed. There was the mark on his side. And Jesus Christ, after how many years? Almost 2,000 years. Jesus, more than 2,000 years. Jesus, sight was pierced for me and for you and for you. My lady, only in Christ, only in Christ, we can see God. I challenge you Muslim, I challenge you Hindu, all as a major religion, I challenge you, I challenge you, I challenge you. You must work hard, you must pray five times a day, you must do Ramadan, you must go to pilgrimage to Saudi, you must kiss the black stone, you must go around the black stone and throw the seven stone, then you may be in heaven. If you die at the matter, then you will get river of wine, river of honey, and maybe 72 virgins. Every religion, man seeking and looking and searching to find God. Only in Christianity, only in Christ, God reaching you and reaching me. Through who? Through his son, Jesus Christ. Through his son, Jesus Christ. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called. That require, my friend, peacemaker, sir, sir. We have an integrity, sir. It's not in me. We have a moral standard. It's not in us. We have an identity. It's not us. We have image. It's not us. We have integrity. It's not us. If I have integrity, then I must respect your integrity. I must respect your identity. I must respect your image. Because my Bible said, you and I made in the image of God. Muslim, Jew, Hindu, Buddhism, Age movement, alphabet people, we are all made in the image of God. The question is, sir, I will die for you. The question is, would you die for me? You are my brother. If you are Ishmaelite, if you are, if the race of Muhammad is come out for Ishmaelite, Ishmael was a son of Abraham, half brother of Isaac. I am a spiritual Jew. I don't kill your children. I will die for your children. The question is, will you die for me? Sir, the answer to that question is now and then. It's now and then. I read that story. A judge went on his car to the court. And a criminal jumped out of the car to be what? To run away. And the judge came out, saved him from the car accident. After more than, less than two hours, he ended up in a court in front of the same judge. The same judge who rescued him from the car accident. That criminal ended up in front of him and he said to himself he's going to forgive me now he's going to set me free now and when he said what guilty he said why lord you saved me from the car accident don't you have enough mercy and grace to save me from this crime he said son back there i was your savior but now i am your judge and now jesus christ is your savior but in the day of judgment, he is your judge. Even according to your Quran, Muhammad will not judge, but Jesus Christ will judge. Let's ask the peacemakers. That requires integrity means peace, shalom to you. I hate Palestinian die, children. Women die in Palestine. I hate elderly men die in Palestine. But I hate when my Jewish children are dying in Jerusalem. Don't you know many, many Arab Many Arabs from Gaza, they go to Tel Aviv for university. Many Arabs, they commute daily to go to Jerusalem to work. Mike is yours, my sister. The mic is yours. 
many Arabs will go to Jerusalem to work, to study. Give me one Israelite in Palestine to study or work. Zero. Zero. Here we go. You shall know them by the fruit. You shall know them by the fruit. Therefore, we are not. I don't judge everybody the same. You are different. Look at you. Here we go. You shall know them by the fruit. You are the child of flesh. You are the child of flesh. You cover your head. But what about your heart? You cover your face. You cover your face. What about you? Look at you. <laughs> Look at you. You crazy, my friend. You are drunk. Look at you. You are drunk. Here we go. She is drunk. She is drunk. Look at him. Look at her. She is absolutely drunk. You are beautiful, but I don't fancy you. Your face, your form, your finances will change. You're going to get so ugly. You're going to get so ugly. Your own husband will not take care of you. I'm telling you. You're going to get so ugly. Your own husband, your own children will not take care of you. I'm telling you. You too. You're going to get so ugly. You're going to get so ugly. You're going to end up in the nursing home. I'm telling you. By God's grace. By God's revelation. This man is going to get so ugly. His own children will not look after him. Take beer. Take beer. Take beer. Yeah. Take beer. Take beer. Take beer. Take beer. Now let's come back. I'm very sick. Let us say, let us say, which are perfectly for righteousness, say, for Zoyas is the kingdom of heaven. Listen carefully. Let us say, which are persecuted, for righteousness, say, for Zoyas is the kingdom of heaven. That means, my friend, all of this will be costly. As we stand for God of righteousness in this world, requiring great courage, great courage to pick up our cross, to pick up our cross and follow our master. Man, no, you cannot. No, you cannot. How can God of a father answer that man? Answer. How God of a mother? I will tell you why. I will tell you why. You know the seventh sign of Jesus on the cross? Yeah. The seventh sign of Jesus on the cross? Yeah. You tell me one of them. No, no, you scholar. No, no, no. You. There you go. But let's all say, with the hunger and souls of the righteousness, for there shall be the kingdom of heaven. That means, my friend, all this will be costly. But let's not pray for it. It's costly, man. Blessed are the meek, it's costly. Blessed are the they born, it's costly. Blessed are they with your hand God served after righteousness. Blessed are the merciful. Blessed are the pure in heart. Blessed are the peacemakers. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake. For so is the kingdom. That means sir, all this, all this is simple. All this is simple. But I will open. The gate it will open the gate of treasure of heaven because that will lead us to eternal life. Let us say, which are persecuted for righteousness, sake, for there is the kingdom of heaven. Then he said, Then he said, Then he said, I can't kiss you, man. I can't kiss you. I can't kiss you. I am from your country. I'm not from your country. I know who you are. I am from your country. Have respect. You are young. That's why I respect you. You are young. You are young. That's why I respect you. I love you the most, Lord Jesus. Oh Lord, Father God, Jesus Christ, hear me, oh Lord. Hear me, oh Lord. Hear me, oh Lord. Hear me, oh Lord. That this generation, they might know that you are the true living God. I bless each one of them. I hug each one of them. You can slap me. You can beat me. I still love you. I still love you. I bless you in the name of Jesus Christ, man. My God. It's my son. Blessed are you. Blessed are you. Blessed are you. When men shall revile you and persecute you. That's how the end, how I ended the beatitude. Blessed are you, my son. 
Blessed are you, my son. Look at them. When you preach the gospel, they cannot take it. يا كانت أيوة حبيبي أنا محبك يا أستاذ يا عيني يا قلبي يا قلبي أنا محبك I will die for you. هذا هو يقول. Blessed are you, are you, are you, when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you. For sleep for my sake, rejoice and be exalted. For great is your reward in heaven. For so first you to say the prophet. Man, persecution was not a vocabulary in my dictionary. But when I met Jesus, I didn't change me, he changed me. That's why he said, my son, my job is to bless him. My job to love him. Your job to die for them. Will you die for me? That's the question. Will you die for me? And I'm not that. And I'm not that. Will you die for me? And I'm a hubbard. 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 I love you. And I will die for you. But whether you like it or no. Whether you like it or no. Jesus Christ is Malik and Maluk. Jesus Christ is the Anna Malik and Maluk. He is Malik and Maluk over your life. Whether you like it or not. Whether you like it or not, he is Malik al Maluk. Hallelujah, yes, the Messiah. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one is left. No one is left. He comes to me, to me. He says, "I am the truth, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the light, I am the way, I am the truth." Zarge. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Thank you, Lord. Let me feel my pain, man. Let me pray for your children. Let me tell you something. So, you are very wise. I am. I am from yesterday. Listen, I am from yesterday, but you are from the ancient one. Listen carefully. Moses, Moses, Musa said to Pharaoh, "What did he say to Pharaoh? Let my people go." Cowboy, cowboy. Moses said to Pharaoh, "Let my people go." Esther said to King Ahasuerus. In today's Persia, O King Azarat, be forever. Let my people live. I am not afraid of Allah. Isa. Your God, with my due respect, your God is the dead God. Your God is the dead God, but I love you as a people. لا تبجي 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 لا Moses said, "Let my people go." Esther said, "Let my people leave." In Second Chronicles chapter seven verse fourteen, God said, "If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked way, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land." What did Hosea say? So what? What did Hosea say? Hosea said, "My people." My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will have to reject thee. Thou shalt not be priest over my people because you have forgotten the law of my God. I will. They say five times in the day. Five times in the day they take hell marks to the Lord of Five times a day, they will make sure that they will not fall in. Who are they? Who are they? Only you, Christian. Let's say we worship three God. What about Hindu? Three hundred million God. Why don't you pray against Hindu? Only you are Christian because you are here sick. With my due respect, you are sick here. You are sick here, my son. We say it in the Sirat Al Mustaqim. I go to Sirat Al Mustaqim. Therefore, I never say. خير مصوبي عليه بالله صالين. يا خير مصوبي عليه ماذا يدور لدا مين؟ أو كان do not curse us the way you curse the Jew and the Christian because they worship three God. The Hindu they worship million God. إلهي إلهي إلهي. خلاص كل شيء. هلا حبيبي. هلا يا قلبي. حبيبي. هلا بايو صلبي. هلا بايو أدنا أدنا كباب. Can I buy your coffee? I will buy coffee for you. I will buy donut okay, kebab for you. Where we go? Let me finish. Where we go? Finally. 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 He said to Peter, Paul, listen carefully. But you are, you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, 
and holy nation. I pray kill your people. And this is your fault. The praise of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. That means, sir, we have a new royalty. We have a new dignity. We have a new reality. And we have a new responsibility. What is our responsibility, sir? To die for you. Our responsibility. We are free from sin. Like these people. And free to serve in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's pray for these people. Let's pray for these people. We pray not only for this young Muslim, we pray for Ali Dawa. We pray for Shamsi. We pray for Muhammad Hijab. We pray for Usman. We pray for Sheikh Usman. We pray for the cameraman. We pray that our God, the God of all flesh, will open the eyes of the understanding that they may see the glorious gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. I pray that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto them individually the spirit of wisdom and revelation because if they have a wisdom through the bible and revelation by the bible they will keep quiet they walk away and for you my brother and for you and for you i will die for you young man i promise i will die for you to have 10 15 years to live now and to him that able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with excellent joy yes. to the only wise God, yes. our Savior, yes. be glory yes. and majesty, yes. dominion and power, both now and forever. For this good, my brethren, since the day we hear it, do not cease to pray for you and to desire that he may be filled with the knowledge of his will and all wisdom and spiritual understanding, that he may walk worthy of the Lord and to all pleasing, being fruitful in every good work and in the knowledge of God, strength with all might, with glorious power, and to not suffer with joyfulness, giving sake to the Father, which has made us to be made the partaker of the divine inheritance, for by whom, for by whom, for by whom we have the remedies, the deception of sin, even the forgiveness of our sin. Finally, my friends, these people, who shall suffer from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword, as it is written, for thy sake, we are killed all the day long. We are counted for sheep at the slaughter. Nay, in all those things, we are more than conquerors. Soon the love us, for I'm persuaded, that night the death, no life, no angels, no principalities, no powers, no things present, no things to come, no high, no depths, no any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus. Therefore, our Father, which are in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily prayer and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Soli, dear Gloria, for the glory of God. Zara worthy, O oh Lord, to receive glory and honor. I love you, brother. Dogha, thou worthy to receive glory. I'm a broken man. I'm a broken hearted. I got a broken image. I can show you. I love you, sister. I will die for you. We will die for you, sister. Come to Christ. Come to the revelation of truth. Come to Haq. Come to Haq. Come to Talita. Come to Hayat through Jesus Christ. May God bless you. May God bless you. And may God bless you, my Muslim sister. We will love you with God's kind love. We will bless you. The blessing of the Lord be upon you. And we bless you in the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.